Hey guys, it's your old pal Andrew, and I'm welcoming you to our show SEG. Uh, now, it it hasn't really been so long since the last episode, but a lot has happened, trust me. Just a quick rundown on what I did uh, in the last, I don't know, few days. Uh, so, I... Where we left off, I was planting corn in field 12. That's done to the super max. It's absolutely ready. It's slowly but surely growing. I also, uh, as you can see, I also cultivated field 14. So this is absolutely perfectly ready for a new crop. And it's go if I apply both layers of fertilizer, it's going to be hundred percent maximum yield field and it's not a small one if you guys remember from previous videos and then again I also cultivated field 35 as is now the plan for that is that I'm going to go for sunflowers it's just uh, right now um, I am I am stalling it because I figured I would need more money for that than I have currently just to be on the safe side. I mean I have no idea, but I I will definitely go for that. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. So this is all that happened, and uh, it was raining all along, and then around half past four in game the rain stopped finally, so I could go about my contract on field 38 where I am right now and as you can see I have already harvested a pretty sweet chunk now the main reason I picked this uh, contract up is to get the straw that is just under my feet uh, and if you don't know how I do that there's really nothing uh, uh, difficult about it or, or it's well you could argue for days if it's cheating if you're using a mod or not but there is a mod that you can find on the official mod hub and it's called the collect throw admissions or something like that to that effect but the basic idea is that this mod allows you to pick up the straw that you drop with your combine when you're doing a contract so uh, that's what I did and uh, there is still quite a big part of the field to be done uh, or to be harvested it does the same thing uh, but I figured because it's 5 in the afternoon in game uh, light conditions won't become any better so how about I do the thing that I want to do at the same time because as you guys can see I have also spent a good fifteen thousand dollars euros it's euro, it's a euro sign in the corner because yeah so I have spent that amount of money and five of them went to a field Bowser that I still have to use um, because the combine is running low on fuel and I, I don't want to take it come on so yeah where was I uh, the stupid uh, sticking sticking keys function switched on for some reason never mind so uh, hmm. The, the the combine is running low on fuel and I don't want to leave the field because of that so I practically bought a fuel bowser and I will carry fuel to that it's a it's a handy dandy tool that you know everyone should have anyways so the other 10 grands went into something else and we are going to get to this something else right now we need the, the I figured we don't need I'm going to use the MB track uh, for that so uh, yeah and this is going to be kinda sorta a mod spotlight and then kinda sorta it's not what happened is that I 
bought a new uh, bigger uh, loading wagon. I set the price to 10 grand, it was way ex more expensive than that in its original form, but I figured uh, it's really not a, I don't know, a 26 grand uh, piece of kit because of its age. And as you guys can see, it may be familiar for some of you because this one has been around for quite some time now. Um, I'm playing FS games since FS15 and I I met this one in FS15 and then I know that it, it was available I think back since FS11 or even I don't know, but yeah, it's a, and you just have to look at it and you will see that it's a really, really old uh, 3D model, uh, and the textures are quite, uh, uh, I wouldn't use the term outdated, but they didn't age well, yeah, let's say that, but I couldn't care less about that. This was my favorite loading wagon in FS17. Uh, uh, obviously, it's it's been converted over to newer and newer versions of the game over the years. And now, I have bumped into this one on one of the sites that you shouldn't visit. Uh, Alasnovinkit.cz uh, But it was a fixer-upper. First off, it didn't have the original textures. The, um, the, the burgundy part... I think it's burgundy. I'm not really good. I, I see in RGB. So the burgundy parts uh, were uh, colored to black and uh, that since they didn't have this rust uh, effect on them, they seemed off the place. So I restored the original texture files. Uh, also, I tend to use wider wheels on them, so I did that, and I made the dirt effects. Uh, also, I cleared up the log because it had two uh, small log errors that can be fixed if you are persistent enough. And now I have a pretty decent loading wagon. The only shortcoming is uh, the unloading animation that is not really uh, good. I am considering uh, the replacement of that. Yeah. That being said, it's an interesting test because this is a fairly big uh, loading wagon, and if and before you start yelling that oh yeah because it's out of scale and everything, if you check out on the internet uh, and look for pictures of the actual thing, uh, which is not easy because uh, like if you Google out uh, horror. MV3-030, uh, that's that's the name of the, the thing. So if you Google that out, then roughly 90-95% of the pictures is going to be farm sim. But there are a few pictures of the actual uh, thing in real life. And you guys can see that it's, it's really a stupendously large uh, <coughs> loading wagon. So I would say it's actually it's more or less in scale. That being said, especially when it's it's loaded up with all the 42,000 liters of goods, <clears throat> it's pretty uh, heavy. Now, in FS17, I know for sure that I couldn't run this thing with the Unimog. Uh, I had a version of the Unimog, you know, the one that I converted over for 19. If you check out older videos of mine, you can see that one. Um, and I, I sure couldn't run it with, with these MB tracks either. So I was usually running it with a, a John Deere 4955. That was strong enough. Um, so. Yeah, but now I have I have already made tests uh, for another video that is not on YouTube, uh, and the the Unimog with the with the concrete weights handled it just fine. Now I want to see what happens if you go with a 
a tractor that is that is comparable in <coughs> in horsepower and and in every single way. I mean, MB tracks are <coughs> MB tracks are um, are Unimox with a different chassis. So um, at the end of the day. You could argue for days that yeah, it's not because that and that, but the uh, the basic idea was uh, was taken after the Unimog uh, <clears throat> as a cheaper substitute for uh, farmers. But anyways, let's see how we can handle things. It it's really not a problem until you're turning uh, while you're relatively fast if you understand what I'm getting at. So the problem is usually not with the... Uh, with, with the part where you're picking up the straw, actually. The problem is when you go ahead and... and take it to where you wanna dump it. So, as expected, we're holding out pretty good for now. Also, one thing I'm pretty proud of is the the dirt speculars uh, that I made for the wheels because in 17, uh, well, it it this one always has been a fixer upper for me ever since I've been meddling with that, um, and the first time when I actually applied dirt effects on this one was in 17 and I didn't like the genera generic dirt files that are floating around so I decided to make my own for the wheels and this is what I came up with and I think it's pretty uh, pretty unique uh, yeah so what I want to imply on at with this is that you won't find this loading wagon in this form or as you can see it here out in the wilderness of the internet but you can find a version that if you're into it you can fix up for yourself and if you look away from the minor uh, minor problems with it it's a great loading wagon which is coming at you fairly cheap and um, and it has a, a pretty big um, capacity so yeah as I stated at in its current uh, incarnation it takes 42,000 liters of goods that's almost what my cows are taking currently now that being said, the um, uh, the UTB uh, loading wagon that I bought at the beginning of this Let's Play series is nowhere to be gone because uh, this one doesn't fit inside the cow stable. Uh, as I said, it's way too big. So I need something to actually deliver the goods there. And it's not like selling that one for 300 uh, euros would help me in any ways. Yeah, so that's 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 uh, what I wanted to show you guys. And so far, I must say it's working pretty well. Uh, with the with the MB track, as I stated, I know that it runs very well with the um, uh, with the Unimog. Given the fact that it's an engine swap swapped swapped engine swapped Unimog that has the the engine of the 2100. Um. Yeah, so, and this this one is a uh, sharing engine with the actual 1600. It's just that it's it's rated at 150 horses, so the difference is like 10 horses. If you want the exact same numbers, go for the 1600. 
but then it's not a Nichtaube, as the German call it. So the 1600 has a different nose, uh, a different uh, front grill, and I wanted to go for this design. So for me, it's a 1500. So yeah, I think we can we can sit back and relax because this will work out. Now the only shortcoming I have found when I used it the previous time, I was uh, harvesting with a different combine, a bigger combine, specifically a Messi Ferguson Delta, and that. I, I was running it with the header that it's coming with, a 10.5 meters header, and that dropped a pretty um, a pretty chunky straw swath, <clears throat> and this bad boy was struggling with it. But for the straw swath of the the fortress, it's just absolutely fine. In other news, uh, I think I it's safe to say that I have uh, went past 50 subscribers, which is pretty good. And my promise was uh, regular or semi-regular live streams when I hit that uh, subscriber count. So that is going to be a thing. It's just something that I have to work out is that Thursdays are really not the best for that but then again for now uh, it's really not that important because um, starting next Tuesday uh, I'm on the summer break practically or summer vacation so I will have all the time in the world do lives so yeah be on the lookout for that actually now when I'm recording it it's Friday in the morning and um, yesterday we had a live with Rob and that was a blast uh, Apart from the fact that we couldn't really achieve anything useful in spin tires, but that that's how life goes. Yeah. So this is this is running pretty smoothly right now. I don't know what happened, but yeah. I'm digging it and, and it works just like a charm even with this one. I mean uh, as far as horsepower requirements go I don't know if it has a fixed horsepower requirement uh, no it doesn't state any uh, you should be able to run this with an MTZ uh, in real life not that they would do it but for the most part, interestingly, uh, where I, if you see real life pictures, so that that's the problem with the pickup effect, by the way. So, if you check it out on real life pictures, it's mostly coupled to a John Deere tractor or something like that, or or really a bigger Zetor, like a, a 16 45. So yeah. The 16245 Zeter Crystal is really comparable to this one, by the way, in terms of horsepower and uh, and performance and everything and size. So no wonder that it's a perfect match.
Yeah, I mean, this is a big piece of kit, so naturally it's a bit unwieldy uh, at turns. But you just have to learn to maneuver it, and then it's going to be fine. And the engine sound of this tractor is just so satisfying. I cannot emphasize that enough. Yeah. So this is this was kind of a mod spotlight, except you won't get the mod this time around. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I have found, the 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 treasure that I managed to dig out. So this is it, guys. That also means that I think I uh, finish recording here. Um, that being said, thank you for checking this video out. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like. Uh, if you want to see more, uh, also consider subscribing. And if you have anything to say, uh, including uh, begging for this mod, but you won't get that anyways, <clears throat> probably. Um, see you in the next video. Yeah. That, that came out in... Yeah, anyway, so yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, everything else, and be good while I'm gone. Now, see.